there is something that you need to know when you're using tools like google flow and google wish so these tools are allowing you to create some videos but there is a limit on how many times you can create videos on these platforms so it is not unlimited there is a limit and google does incorporate a sort of ai credit system so there is a limit on how many videos you can create theoretically every single month during the subscription so according to this page according to the google one help you will get 1000 credits if you're subscribing to google ai pro but if you're subscribing to google ai ultra plan then you'll get even more credits. It is 12,500 credits to be precise, but it is still limited regardless. And this page also breaks down the cost of generation. So here on Google Wiz and Flow, you can see that the VO2 and VO3 models are actually have, they have different pricing depending on what quality that you set. But one thing here that you probably need to know is that the cost is actually not per video, but rather per generation. So it doesn't matter how many videos you created per generation, the cost stays the same. So I think it makes sense to actually enable two or maybe even four videos per generation because either way, the cost stays the same. Now, uh, how do you check the amount of credits left on your google flow account well fortunately it's quite simple you can navigate to your google flow account or you can also visit google wish it doesn't matter and then you can click your profile picture right here and you will see the amount of credits left on your account right now i'm subscribing to google ai pro and it gave me 1000 credits but now i've spent some of them and i only have this amount of credits on my account and if i'm running out then i could either upgrade to google ai ultra plan or i can top up some credits but apparently the top up feature is not available in my country so the only way for me to get more credits is to just upgrade to an even more expensive plan but here there is something here that's quite interesting you can see here that i do have credit consumptions on google flow a lot but there is no consumption on gemini even though i use gemini to create some videos like one example here and this was created using the vo3 fast model which should cost me at least i think one uh, 10 credits oh sorry it's 20 credits according to this page but there is no info about gemini there is no mention that i was using some of my credits from gemini so apparently from my finding it is actually not going to count the credit usage oh, oh, sorry the usage on gemini so there is no credit system when you're creating a video using or via gemini even though you're using the vo3 model so maybe if you want to save as many as many credits as possible then maybe try creating videos via gemini because right now it is getting better like recently we can create video using vo3 and also you can create a video from a photo or starting frame which is very very useful so i do recommend to use videos uh, to, to use gemini to create videos and only use google flow if that cannot be achieved using gemini so that's basically how you can check the amount of credits left on your google flow or google ai pro account and um, maybe uh, i'm going to post some other tips to save as many credits as possible uh, other than just using gemini to create videos so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day